Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. Now that we've explored Pirate Isle and gotten all the treasures we can find here, it's time to go back to our real house. This is our home. And this is our mother. This is one of the only RPGs I know where you have both parents. I think that's pretty cool. Although she doesn't get a name where our dad does. That's a bit weird, but okay. Yeah. I don't know where you heard of Fina, but... I'm sure it has. You guys live in the middle of nowhere. Cool. What's up, Ica? Aw, her hair's not down anymore. Too bad. Sure. On top of Lookout Island. We already been, have been there, but we would have a scene if we went there now, so... I like to get that treasure before I go up there for this time. And of course, now we can look at the nice sunset. The weather has changed while talking to our mom there for about two seconds. And so... While we climb this stupid ladder, how is everybody today? I'm doing really well. Having a good week. Look at this beautiful sunlight set. I still think this looks nice, man. You know? And what's that over there? There's some weird thing over there. Oh well. I don't know what that is. Got an iconic scene here. One of the classic scenes of the game. Yeah. It's a good question, man. What's impossible? Got a good attitude. And luckily, you have good friends to do it with, you know? Cool girl like Aika. Be fun. Explore stuff. Huh? Oh, wow. A little bit of a meteor shower. Moonstone, huh? So now we get to see what that eye patch is all about. It's basically like a little binocular. That's sort of cool. So, Moonstone has fallen onto Shrine Island. Why would they usually crash land on the islands? It seems like they would never, almost never crash land on the islands. Considering how much of the percentage of this game is sky versus land. Okay. Huh. Okay, so she does know about moonstones. Yeah, we should go get it. Good stuff. No better way to make new friends than to invite them to dinner. Absolutely true thing to say. I guess the stone fell from the moon. That's why it's called a moonstone, huh? Sure. Alright, so it's the next day. Everything seems nice here.
Wake up, bum. Okay, if Aika is awake before you and has her hair already like that, that means you overslept. Like, that's the rule of being a man. If the girl is up and ready to go and you're just waking up, you're in trouble. Alright, let's go. Hi, Fina. Yeah, or so. We're friendly to you. Okay, so she's gonna stay here. Ah, I didn't even know you were here, Dine. Good to see you. Alright, so he gave us the purple moonstone, which lets us learn purple magic. Cool. Change the color of your weapon to purple and give it power of ice in battle. Yeah, I always think that blue is ice. So, yeah, in this game, it's purple. I always forget that. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, he's explaining stuff I already went over, but yeah, you learn a new spell, so if there's a spell you want to learn, changing the cover of your weapon to match whatever type, you will learn it faster. Twice as fast. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go get the Moonstone. She's going to chill here. Upper dock. All right, cool. So that's the place where we went and got the treasure chest yesterday. But before we go, we can go back in here and have a little talk with our mom. Yeah. Perfect. All right, those are really good. But she just gave us our more powerful healing item that stores a thousand HP. So if we're, like we're in really bad shape, we can use that. We should be okay. We have. Basically, this Shrine Island that we're going to is the first dungeon in the game, other than Alfonso's ship, which, you know, I don't know if you'd count or not. But, yeah, I think it's actually probably the hardest dungeon in the game, if not the, you know, it's either the first or second hardest. It's pretty difficult because we have so low amount of resources, only, only eight total MP, and I definitely suggest making two separate trips there, and I'll show you exactly what I mean in a little bit. And there's also a, a particular brand of enemy that can really kill you very easily. So I'll show that off also. And hopefully I won't die to them. Because they can really mess with you if the, if the RNG isn't on your side. Okay, where am I going? I'm going north. Why am I going the wrong way? Okay. And there's a little map we can look at here, by the way. Right now we can barely see anything, and all of these basically are hard barriers that we can't cross at the moment, but the map will expand as the game goes on. And here we have a random battle. These are all enemies we've seen before. I'll show this battle off, but this will be the last time I show these particular enemies off unless I see a new enemy. Yeah, against these guys, the blue element, you want to use the yellow element, which we don't have. So, green works well, though, so that's fine. And we're going to keep Aika on the red because we want her to learn the second level red spell pretty soon. As soon as possible, actually. That was easy. And we always want to have one guy on green also, so that way we're always learning a little bit of green. And Aika is, I guess, pretty close to learning it. She'll, she should learn it before we need her to. All right, here's Shrine Island. First dungeon of the game. And yeah, the, the main story of this game is, like, pretty typical. You go out, you see some cutscenes, you do some stuff, then you have a dungeon, and you get accomplished some things, and then you have another cutscene and story, and then another dungeon. That's basically the way this game will go. But the, the cutscenes and stuff are so interesting, and the and the, there's a lot of gameplay variety in this, actually. So, I, I mentioned that it isn't that varied, but I'm kind of wrong. Okay, so the Moonstone crashed in and now is flooding the shrine. Okay, the old world. Uh -huh. He's been here for generations, it seems weird. I agree. Sounds like a plan. All right. Here's a save point if you need it. I'm not going to use it for now. 
And like I said, I do think that you should make two separate trips into this place, and I'm going to show you why that is in a few minutes. But out here, you can run around as much as you want. There are no battles. But once you go inside, you will start to run into battles, and they can be a little bit rough. There are three treasure chests to get here. Okay, yeah, so the place is flooded, which means we're going to have to drain the water in order to get that moonstone. There's no other way we can really get it out. Cool. Yeah, so we want to drain the water. Alright, so basically our plan is we can open all these doors and they'll drain the water out. I don't know if that... Because we live in the sky world, it should work fine. Otherwise, it wouldn't work at all. But because they live in a sky world, not half bad. One thing you want to watch out for are these things. You ordinarily will light up, but you have to activate the shrine first, which we haven't done, so... Alright, here we have our first random encounter of this place, which will no doubt be against some new enemies. Okay, the first, both of them are new enemies. First thing to note is the looper. And a looper is kind of one of those flighty enemies that gives a lot of gold, but is hard to kill. They tend to run a lot, and they're a little bit annoying to deal with. These guys, Flustics, are the most annoying enemies by far in this place. If you run into a large group of them, they are very dangerous. And I highly recommend using the Pyrie spell here to eliminate them. In this case, it's not a big deal. We're going to focus both Ica and Vice on the Flustic, because what they can do is they can put you to sleep. And if they put you to sleep, they can keep putting you to sleep until you're dead. And you have literally no chance of doing anything at all. So they can be a big pain in the butt. Now one thing to note is that unlike in many RPGs where you have guys like this that are almost impossible to hit, as you can see, I got a little lucky there and managed to kill it before it ran away. But if you use a special move, you will always hit. And so... Against loopers and so forth, Vice's special moves in particular are really useful. And you got a lot of experience and a lot of gold for that. At least for this point in the game. For managing to kill that looper. Yeah. No new enemies here, but notice how the looper ran away. And now this thing is critical hitting me. They got a first strike on me, which means that I'm in a little bit of a disadvantage. And as you can see, Vice has been put to sleep, which is really bad. Luckily, that thing attacked him and woke him up, so I should be able to move. Okay, good. We're going to have him attack this guy, and then Ika can use her Alpha Storm on this guy. And if we get a little lucky, we'll kill both Maracas. With it, and I'll show you. Show this off. Looks like we didn't hit both of them, but that's fine. And the only reason it didn't kill it is because Ika's weapon is incompatible with them. She's using the red weapon still, so oh well. Yeah. So as you can see, I only had two battles. And Vice is already, like, half at half health. We're gonna, like, have no choice but to use a healing item pretty soon. So this dungeon actually is pretty difficult. Like, these enemies can kill you, and I haven't even showed, like, anything half as bad as it can get. Okay, so we managed to get a bunch of experience and now level 5. Excellent. Okay, 
So now that we've done that, we get here to this little air, little alcove here. And before we touch that little crystal, we're gonna go over here and get a treasure chest. And it's a sacred crystal, pretty good. Get two of them. It's useful because now that's like our healing for free. We can walk over here and see if they have anything else. I didn't think they did, but I, mean, I wanted to make sure. And now let's touch this crystal. So this activates the shrine a little bit, and you'll see what that means. First of all, we're submerging it even deeper. So that the bottom of it goes out underneath the island. Seems like it'd be counterintuitive, but remember, we're, we're on an island floating in the sky. Now this is why I said that it's useful to make two trips here, because now that we've done this, we don't have we we are basically on the second phase of the dungeon, which is much longer, but we can go back to Pirate Isle and recover our health if we need to. I don't feel we need to, so all I'm gonna do is go back here and save. And I'm gonna also heal with, you know, I guess I'll heal with just an item. Just drop a sacred crystal on Vice's head, and that's all we need. And I'm gonna stop this video here, and next time we're gonna finish off Shrine Isle. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day.